Alright guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Go episode on the channel and as you can see here, today we are looking at Gardevoir and its new mega form that has been recently added to Pokemon Go. So, um, there's two teams we're going to try out today, we're going to try a ghost team out for the first one, as you see here we've got our Mega Gengar and then we've got our Chandelure um, and then we're also going to try out a Steel team. Uh, I don't know which one's going to be better, I'm going to say the Steel one just because of Metagross. Um, but we seem to be doing quite a bit of damage with the ghost team, so it should be okay either way. Um, you are going to have a few Pokemon that are going to be easier to be found on certain teams, like Gengars are really easy to find because of Ghastly. Um, Beldums are more of a premium option. Uh, I will be using Mega Steelix for the Mega for the Steel team. However, we are using Giratina at the moment and we are doing quite a bit of damage. If you did do any of the origin form Giratinas, then maybe give them a go. But it's not too bad. Um, I'm hoping that our God of Wars will be really, really, really good and OP for the new events. Could always be a, a possibility. I think the attack stat on this Mega God War was very high compared to... Oh, and we've out of Pokemon. So let's just go in with any party. We Obviously, we've already got to a point, so we don't need to just revive everyone. It was already nearly dead anyway. But Metagross is probably going to be one of the best Pokemon to use, especially if it's Meteor Mash. Um, then, obviously, you've got Gengar with Shadow Ball as well. But I do think power-wise... Metagross is the way to go, um, just because it has a quick charge move, and then obviously Bullet Punch as its fast move. So let's see how many energy we got for this one. Okay, so we got 200 energy, that's not too bad. Any shiny? No, of course not. Um, I don't know what the full IV is for the raid, so I'm guessing this one isn't great, but we will find out after this anyway. At least we got it in the first ball, that's decent. We get the double candy for it as well. And this one is not great, so let's move on to the next raid. Alright guys, and we are back, and as you can see, we are currently just started the next raid with our steel team. Mega Steelix at the helm, and we do seem to be doing a lot more damage overall with the Steelix. I don't know if that's because the party we're using, like the people in this party are using the same Pokemon or what, but we seem to be doing a lot more damage with the Steel team that we had. So, let's get through this raid. I, I do think the best choice... Pokemon wise, like I've got my Dialgus here, but they're not the greatest. The best Steel type Pokemon for this raid will be um, Metagross. Especially if you've got that Calm Day move, you can't really beat it. Um, but let's talk about Gardevoir as a Mega Pokemon to begin with. So, Gardevoir was a really good Psychic type to begin with. Um. It was quite high tier. Obviously, the synchronized move you get from the raids isn't great, so that's not going to help you much when you've already got Psychic. But um, it'll def if you don't have a um, a Psychic type move and you don't have the TMs to boost, like change the move. I th synchronized will be a good one. Um, obviously, we did lose our party there, so we are just going to go with anything. For the second team. Because we are quite low down. But looking at it actually. We got to the same amount of damage on both. Before we died. So. I guess it doesn't really matter. Which team you use. You'll do the same amount of damage. If you do have a Mega. As well. If you do have a lot of friends. Like I use Poker Genie app for mine. But if you have a lot of friends. You should all sync up together. With the same Pokemon and the same Megas. To do maximum amount of damage. So, let's see what this one's like. Because we have defeated it. So, how much energy do we get off this one? I think 200 again. Yeah, 200 again. And then, shiny? 
No. That's a shame. However, 1753, that must be a better one. So let's try and get these, hopefully with excellent throws, trying to get that as much EXP as possible, but we can sometimes miss them. Um, yeah, there you go. There's one that I missed, and then we have to go for a nice throw, which is a shame. Come on, stay in the ball. I feel like this one will be very close to 100%. Because it's not staying in the balls at the moment. Um, if we get a 100%, that's kind of not great because I have three already. So having that extra 100% won't be the best thing for the account. Uh What I'm going to do, I'm going to speed this bit up and I will get to you once we caught it. Alright guys, there you go. We have caught the guard wall. Let's see what appraiser... Yeah, so that's a 96. That's a really decent guard wall. Obviously, if we didn't have the 100% already, that would be the one we'd be mega in right now. Um, so let's get into the final raid and see what we get from that one. Alright guys, and welcome back to the third raid on this video. So, looking at our party, we've got Steelix, Metagross, Dialga, two more Metagrosses, and Melmetal. Should be enough to take down this raid. Um, we do only have a team of five, so it might take us a bit further to take this one down. As you see, there's been a massive leap in the time. Um, I've been quite busy since the last raid, so I haven't actually been able to uh, record this one, so... Thought I would do this now. Um, what I'm hoping for here is a quick victory. So we can get to the catching. I'm not too bothered about the shiny. There was a Ralts Com Day. Um, it was about two years ago. But there has been one. So I don't need any shinies. All I want is that Mega Energy. And I am going to have to do quite a lot more raid. To get the amount that I want. Um... Because I like to get at least one done every day and then have two more to do every day. Um, we will go over Mega Strategy again in the future. But also, a feature that I haven't used much is the Buddy feature. Like, Best Friend feature. So, I am going to start doing that ASAP as well. Just to get that extra um, CP on the Pokemon we can max out. But yeah, as you can see, we do quite a lot of damage with a, a Steel Team. I think most people are going to use a Ghost Team, though. Um, makes sense. Because Ghastly is a more common Pokemon than all Steel Types. But that's just how it is. You, use whatever you, what, what you think is going to be best for the event. Like I said to you to you guys in the past you don't need the best pokemon to do certain things if you're going to be you know going around doing raids by yourself then yeah you're going to need the best of the best maxed out shadow pokemon to do the max amount of damage you can but if you're raiding with a group of friends or a community that you are in a group with etc then just having you know normal pokemon is perfectly fine no one's going to stress at you as long as there's enough of you to take down the raid. So Definitely keep that in mind whenever you're going to do events on this game. You don't need the best of the best. Um, obviously, for the Hoenn event, I've tried to say get as many... Get at least one Mega Swampert up to max. Um, they were only out for like three hours, the Hoenn starters. So, it is a very difficult... Um, thing to say when I know I didn't go too hard for them but I did go pretty much to get enough to get all three done not maxed out, one maxed out and then all three mega in the first place so there you go, we just, just got the hardest hit in, we got 200 again let's go once again no shiny and it is atrocious so what I'm going to do is I will speed this up and then I'll bring you back 
at the end. And we're back, and as you can see, it's not a great one, so we're actually going to... I'll probably transfer this one, because you do get extra transfer candy at the moment. Um, But I'm actually going to leave this video here. Uh, I hope you guys have a good team ready for God War, and obviously ready for the Hoenn event that is in, like, 14 days. But before that, we do have the Rayquaza event and the Mega Latios. And Latias, so please do not miss them events. They are huge for your account. Um, so yeah, please, thank you all for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll speak to you all in the next one.